Hi, welcome back. Last week we looked at the what and why of the American Bill of Rights. Today we'll look at free speech under Article 1. Hello, good people. My name is Janice, your host here at Dignity, Human Rights in Daily Life. Thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome. After watching this video, I invite you to check out this playlist and please consider subscribing. Speech comes in many forms. Since defamation covers both the spoken and the written word, I'll cover it next week when I focus on the press. So what does freedom of speech mean? Let's look at the law in pertinent part. Congress, meaning the government, shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech. What does that mean? How does it apply and when does it not? As Latinat wrote for CNN Politics, the law protects you from the government punishing or censoring or oppressing your speech. It doesn't apply to private organizations. For purposes of simplicity, let's look at someone who is back in the news today. Susan Westwood, AKA South Park Susan. She's the woman in North Carolina who went on a racist rant while threatening and assaulting two black sisters in the parking lot of the Camden Fairview apartment complex as they awaited for Triple A to jumpstart their car. In the video, Susan boasted, among other things, of having a six figure job. In the end, cost her that job as well as her apartment. She was arrested and served with four summonses. I've provided links in the description box below. So why was Susan arrested if the First Amendment protects her right to free speech? Not all speech is protected by the Constitution. Had Susan's remarks been a criticism of the government, her speech would have been protected. Since her speech was directed at private citizens that caused them to feel threatened, she talked about using violence while invading their spaces, placing them in fear of eminent bodily harm, which is why her actions removed her comments from protected speech. Furthermore, Susan proceeded to use 911 to falsely accuse the women of attempted burglary and were the basis of her arrest. So why did her landlord, Camden Property Trust, look into her behavior? It stated, Camden does not condone this type of behavior. We take this matter very seriously. We are working with our attorneys and taking the steps required by law. Similarly, Susan's employer Spectrum stated that her behavior was a blatant violation of their code of conduct and clearly disregards the company's commitment to inclusion and respectful behavior. Since Camden and Spectrum are private organizations, they may limit the speech of residents and employees where it rises to the level of placing other residents in harm's way or does not reflect the culture of an organization respectively. Hence, Susan's loose lips sunk her career, her home, her dignity, and her self-respect. Do you think that the advent of social media that caused the likes of South Park Susan, Permit Patty, and Coupon Carl the only reason they resigned from or lost their jobs? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Next week, we'll examine the written word. Watch more videos here. Mark hashtag Team Dignity in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And in the meantime, be well and remember to live your life with dignity. Bye-bye.